Parents say goodbye to their dying daughter. She wakes up to say these seven words to them. Abby Furco's parents had to say goodbye to their daughter. For many years, she had been seriously ill. The doctor said there wasn't any hope left. She woke up one day and said seven words to them. Continue watching to find out exactly what these words were. Audrey Marsh Before we tell the story of Abby Furco, we'll talk about another unusual story. This is the story of Audrey Marsh from England. The 34-year-old Audrey Marsh and her husband Rohan Showman were on holiday in the Pyrenees. They went away for a weekend to enjoy the magnificent nature. Unfortunately, this holiday turned out to be very different than they had expected. Audrey and Rohan went for a walk one morning. Out of the blue, a blizzard appeared. The blizzard was so strong that Audrey and Rohan couldn't do anything. They tried to shelter behind a large rock. Audrey became unconscious at that moment. And when Rohan saw this, he started panicking, of course. They had to manage to escape from the situation as quickly as possible. Rohan tried contacting his friends, but it wasn't easy to locate the couple. Luckily, Rohan sent some pictures of their location. By doing this, they got found and saved more quickly. Rescue workers had found Audrey and Rohan and a helicopter arrived at the scene. In the helicopter, they connected Audrey to a so-called ECMO machine, which helped her heart and lungs to continue functioning. This machine also tried to restore her body temperature to normal. They flew to a hospital in Barcelona. Audrey needed treatment immediately. She was still unconscious, and Rohan didn't know what was happening. He hoped that his wife would recover as soon as possible. However, everything worsened after that. In the hospital, the doctors realized that Audrey was in a life-threatening condition. Audrey's body temperature dropped dramatically. She suffered from hypothermia, and was so hyperthermic that it might end her life. And as if that wasn't scary enough, Audrey also had a cardiac arrest. Both hypothermia and cardiac arrest are life-threatening, not to mention the combination of both. The doctors didn't know whether they could save Audrey. The cardiac arrest lasted for a long time. Hours passed. It was questionable whether she would still wake up. Rohan felt devastated. How could a nice holiday have turned out so terribly bad? And everything could even be worse. At this moment, nothing was certain. In the meantime, everything had become completely abnormal. Audrey had been suffering from cardiac arrest for almost six hours. This meant that she probably would not survive it. Only a miracle could keep her alive. The doctors and Rohan feared the worst. Then something happened that you could describe as a miracle. Audrey woke up. No one understood how it was possible, but she did it. She also broke a record. No one has ever survived such an extended cardiac arrest in Spain. She woke up after a cardiac arrest that lasted six hours in total. Unbelievable. It was amazing that Audrey also recovered well after that. She said it was because of the nurses who looked after her so well. Without their help, she wouldn't have survived. But she is still there and in good health too. Audrey has sustained almost no injuries as a result of this accident. The only thing that bothers her occasionally is that her hands are sometimes more sensitive when she moves a certain way. She also wants to go back to the Pyrenees to repeat this holiday. It's too crazy for words, but it's all true. Rohan still can't believe what happened, but he is happy that his brave wife is healthy again. Miracle Baby Audrey is not the only one who is a living miracle. It appears that some babies also have miraculous stories. This baby in the town of Puebla in Mexico experienced a miracle too and shocked his parents and the doctors. This baby was prematurely born in the hospital La Margarita. The baby was born after 23 weeks, less than six months. He had poor health and he wouldn't survive it. The doctors told this to the baby's parents. The parents then prepared themselves for the great loss. His parents said goodbye. There was nothing more to do. The baby had been declared deceased. Their son was put in a cooler, which contained other bodies and body parts. What happened afterwards is beyond words. One of the workers, Miguel Angel Flores, heard an unusual sound coming out of the cooler. He intended to pick up the baby's body, but suddenly he heard something he had never heard before in the cooler. He could hear the baby breathing and crying. The baby was alive. How was this possible? The baby had been declared dead when it was born and had been lying in the cooler ever since. He had never experienced something like this before. Miguel started to panic. They removed the baby from the cooler as fast as possible and took him to intensive care. His parents didn't understand the situation either. 
They had never heard a story like that before. This baby was much stronger than anyone ever expected. The baby's parents continuously prayed. They hoped that he would survive. It seemed as if this baby was capable of surviving anything. His father tried to talk to him as much as possible. He encouraged him to keep fighting, and he told him that he was there to support him. Everyone who witnessed this is convinced that the baby will survive. It's a difficult situation, but this is a miracle baby. The child is now at intensive care. The hospital received some criticism. Some people feel that it's the hospital's fault and that they failed to pay close attention. They think it's strange that the baby was declared dead when it turned out to be alive. However, nobody can precisely explain how this could have happened. The baby didn't show any sign of life and was therefore declared dead. Nobody understands how this could have happened and no one has ever experienced or heard something similar. This wasn't about an adult. It was about a tiny, premature baby. You can imagine how strong this little body was. His parents hope for the best. They are happy to have their baby back in their lives. They are confident that he will survive in the long run. It's their little miracle baby, and they are looking forward to the future. Are you also curious about our other interesting stories? Then subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to never miss any of them again. Abby Furco Finally, we turn to the story of Abby Furco. What Abby and her family had to go through and endure is unimaginable. It was definitely not easy. At the age of four, Abby was diagnosed with leukemia. Although she was still so young, she had had leukemia almost her whole life. It was terrible news for her and her family. She had a loving sister and parents who wanted to do everything to help her. Unfortunately, things went downhill in the wake of the bad news. Abby suffered from a rare form of leukemia and her condition was worse than they thought. She and her family went through a horrible time. The doctors told the family that she only had a 20% chance of survival. Together with her family, Abby had to fight for years. The hospital almost became a second home. She had to stay in the hospital 24-7. It was heartbreaking. The doctors and Abby's family also began to lose hope. She had been unwell for years and had a lot of health problems besides leukemia. Years passed. By now, she had been fighting for about six years. She had undergone all kinds of terrible treatments such as chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and bone marrow transplantation. These treatments were hard on her, but after all the misery, Abby seemed to be doing better for a while. She could even go back to school and have an everyday life. She could play with her friends, do sports, and didn't have to worry about her health anymore. However, it didn't take long before she and her family would receive bad news again. One year after she had recovered, the cancer had returned. The situation was now even worse than last time. Her body seemed to be giving up. Some treatments failed, her kidneys stopped functioning, and she ended up in intensive care. Then the doctor said that Abby wouldn't survive. They advised her family to prepare for this. Everyone felt sad, but they had to accept it. Abby was taken to a hospice where she would spend her last moments. They were also busy arranging the funeral. Other family members flew over to say goodbye to Abby. Everyone prepared themselves for the worst, which was the most natural thing to do at that moment. The parents said goodbye to their daughter. Then one day, Abby woke up to say seven words. She said something very remarkable, and it seemed as if she was not ready to stop fighting yet. She said, I have so much living to do. She didn't want to go, but stay alive. What happened next was miraculous. After she said those words, her health seemed to improve. Her body had almost given up, but suddenly things changed completely. Abby's body suddenly started to become stronger. She slowly started to walk and heal again. It was incredible. Abby kept fighting and it paid off. Since she said those confident words, things had been improving steadily. Even the doctors had no explanation for this. The doctor said that if she continued like this, it would be an enormous miracle. Even they thought it was over, but this special child proved otherwise. Months passed and Abby was doing much better. She's a true miracle. Her family was stunned and happy. Everyone regained hope. In the end, it went so well that she could go home again. It's so overwhelming. She proved that she has a lot of strength and most of all, determination. At the moment, Abby is living a normal life. The future is uncertain, but at least she manages to surprise everyone over and over again. She has proven that she can handle anything.
What a strong young girl. Everyone who knows her is fortunate to be inspired by her. Her family and friends are delighted that Abby is with them and in good health. They went through a lot, but miraculously, it all turned out great. What miracle have you experienced? Let us know in the comments. We are curious to find out. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow.